What's up YouTube? Today we're going to go over Yamaha carburetors. I've got a couple examples here to go through to help you understand how to clean them out properly and set them up on your boat. Stay tuned. We're going to start off with this carburetor. It's off a 90 horse Yamaha. We're going to take out the bowl screws, the four screws around the perimeter first. Okay, you see we have a little bit of trash in the bottom of this carburetor. And here's something else you need to be on the lookout for. This is a plastic float. It is hollow. And some, some of these older models literally start taking on fuel. So basically the float level will not ever shut the fuel off because the the float has sunk to the bottom of the bowl. So always be careful and check these to make sure there's no fluid inside of the, the float. Take the plug out. One of my tricks is, I use these parts bins. You can see I have it labeled number one for number one carburetor, and I have them all up to number six, I believe. So. All the parts I take out, I put them right in here. That way, every part and every screw that this carburetor comes out of this carburetor is in my tote. Man, this carburetor, I'm not sure it's gonna make it. Let's be honest about it. This came off a motor that we had taken in, a 90 horsepower Yamaha. And be honest with you, Kind of a hacked up motor. Someone had put the power head off of a different motor onto this motor with all the, the carburetion and everything. I took out the main jet. Sorry, I didn't show that. I took out this main jet right here from right here. A little the little plug came out here. There's a jet down in here that we need to take out also, but there's a lot of corrosion in there, and I'm not even sure if I could show it to you. Take these out, inspect them also. They get a lot of debris on them. You can see some of it right in there. This comes out here. This, this is the tube right in here in the carburetor. Now your idle, your fuel idle mixture screw. I always count that number of turns it takes to go in the seat. So, half a turn, full turn, one and a half turns, and we are there. So, I know that's one and a half turns. It's best to have a piece of paper to put that on. If you mark it on the carburetor body, the chemicals that we use will clearly take it off the carburetor body. So I never mark anything on here. You can scribe it on with a, with a uh, screwdriver, but I just put it on a piece of paper. Now 
Now, I've taken this off. I want to take note. We have a steel piece here and just rubber here. I just want to take note as to where they come off when I take them off. And you can see this carburetor has had a rough life. 